What's up, what's up, what's up? It's Vlogmas Day 3 and I'm bringing you guys a special Caribbean traditional drink. It's called Sorrel and um, it's pretty sweet, it's tasty and I hope you enjoy this little tutorial of this video. So I'm gonna show you really quickly what's in here. Oh, here she go. <laughs> I have nine cups of water already boiling. Um, I'm gonna use two cups of the sorrel, one stick of cinnamon, four roughly about four pieces of clove, one and a half cups of sugar, and I'm gonna peel this orange. I'm gonna use the entire orange peel. About two tablespoons of ginger, and that's it literally you're just gonna put all of that in the pot to boil leave it for about nine minutes and then take it off and let it sit for probably like four hours minimum because you want everything to you know like infuse that orange peel to infuse and get in there um some people usually leave it overnight so you can leave it overnight but four hours minimum to get everything like you know all the flavors in there and this very special part just a dash probably like a half of a cup you want to put in there for flavoring um, or if you want to spike it really good you know you make a rum punch you can but I don't want to taste the sour, like the uh, alcohol in my sorrow drink I don't like that I want it to just kick I don't know it's coming basically so let's get to it All right, so now we have the water boiling. I'm about to add two cups of the sorrel. Can you see? It's dried. Dried sorrel. Then we're gonna add our orange peel. I did an entire orange because I like the citrusy flavor that is infused in the drink. Two tablespoons of ginger. Ginger. Yeah, she's loving you guys now. Four or five pieces of clove. One cinnamon stick. And what's gonna give us that sweet this is a demon's drug <laughs> somebody feeling the Christmas spirit in the background I'm gonna add one quarter now and I'll sweeten after I only add the sugar now so that um, it melts obviously because the drink is hot now um, the, You put it in the fridge after but I add it now so it can you know Melt down quickly and I am missing one thing But I'll add that later on. That's the alcohol No need to add that now while it's on the fire and I'm gonna show you guys Yummy. The water is already turning So I want you guys to see What is literally ready? Red. Sorrow, baby. So I'm going to let this boil. For about 10 minutes. And then... 
take it off the fire. Let it sit. This smells good. <laughs> Somebody come get her. <laughs> you bam someone. So there we go, guys. I'll show you the finished pro product uh, probably in the morning if I don't feel like taking it off after four hours. I feel like I want to leave it until the morning. What do you think? I think it's going to be a long time. I'm trying to drink that time. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Tomorrow morning. <laughs> I have a second surprise for you guys. And it's the second drink. This one is milk. It's like Caribbean eggnog, but better. She's going to fight me for saying that. But all we're going to do here is... <laughs> okay, she said it's better, guys. Yay. So all we're going to do here is add all of these ingredients. Um, now, there is obviously a method to this. I'm going to crack six eggs. I don't like it eggy. I think the usual recipe calls for ten eggs, but I'm using six. So there's gonna be six eggs, um, using six cans of condensed milk, two and a half cans of evaporated milk, a dash of uh, over two tablespoons of Angostura, this entire bottle of rum, uh, some nutmeg, lime peel. So I'm adding the lime peel when I'm doing the, when I'm whisking the eggs, basically. Then I'm gonna add one cup of the condensed milk. You don't wanna use anything else after you've whisked the eggs because you don't want it to curdle. And then you just add everything else, blend it up. You can use, and I'm gonna use one of these. A hand mixer. A hand mixer, thank you. To blend it up and we're all done. So let's get started. One other thing too is the white in the egg. You you can take it out from the beginning or you can basically, what I'm gonna use is a very fine strainer to that will basically hold that in. You know the white, we call it the fresh of the egg in the Caribbean. I remember the first time I told Tina that, she was like, what? <laughs> but yeah, you don't want that in the, in the drink. And another thing, you can see that the egg is not being cooked. It's just being added. Uh, the alcohol is going to cook the egg. Six eggs. Trying to get you guys a good view right there. And I'm going to add everything in the description so you guys can make it yourselves. Comment and let me know how it was, what you think. I promise you'll enjoy this. Like she said, and like I told you guys, it's better than eggnog.
Thank <laughs> you.